Get your dumbbells ready. If you have shake weights, put them down. Don't swap them up for your extra shake weight. Make sure you got dumbbells, like me. Welcome back to Poetic Fitness. I'm the poet. That's my buddy Ace. He wanted to hang out and watch the workout today. Why? Well, because he knows that we've got a 50-10 tempo two times through with 10 total moves. Total body dumbbell attack mode. Timer, weights, you, me, floor, now. Get some dumbbells you can hold on to, mix it up. If you have a few, spread them out. If you've only got one set, grab that set. We're gonna try and work with those the whole way. I'm gonna grab something that I can personally get started with. And I may just toss one more set down here. You're gonna have five seconds. I'm gonna click that button really soon. <clears throat> Today's question for you is, what's your favorite food? Think about it. First move is a curl jack. So pick a weight you can curl. We're gonna do little hammer curls and it's a jumping jack. So it's just a curling jumping jack. Keep the elbows in. Try not to have your shoulders bumping around, lock them up. Remember, Tickle Monster running around here somewhere. He's scared, he already left the workout. He doesn't want anything to do with it. He may come back and join us. Hit play, here we go. Let's do this. It's time. Play, workout, start. Grab your weights, pow. Here we go, curl and jack. You have to get the rhythm. Modifier for this would just be a step. Step and curl, step and curl. Otherwise, get that movement going. It's gonna be weird. You're gonna have to use your core to stabilize. So just fight through. Whoa. N-E-L-L-Y, whoa, Nelly. Whoa. You got this, everybody. Everybody, everybody got this. Three, two, one. Okay, next move, iron pants. So we're gonna do a squat and we're gonna do a row. So it's like you're taking your waistband here, pulling your pants down and then pulling them back up. There it is, try to keep the back tight. Chin up, chest out. You don't wanna punch forward, you wanna tighten that back. Tighten that back. Like someone tapped you on the shoulder and you're like, yeah? Tighten that back. Iron pants. Actually, 
gives you the ability to move the arms faster, flex the core. This one's gonna burn. We're in a little squat position, three quarter squat kind of. And this bouncing of the arms makes the isometric on the legs. Oh, it hurts. So the key here on your modifier would just be to stand up. You could even get a one foot back and go no weights. That's your modifier. Otherwise, we're down in this squat. We're going. If you use the heavier weight, your arms just may move slower. Next move, break. Next move is going to be iron socks. So we get our chest down on our knee. And I've got my kneecap close to my chin. And I'm going to be doing a row. So just like the iron pants, I'm pulling the socks up, pulling the socks down. So we pull them up and pull them down. The key here also is to have those toes in front of your face. You don't want to be up here in front of the legs, so try to stay behind it. So that leg behind you is low to the ground. Modifier, drop that knee behind you. Do the row. If being down here on the ground is too much altogether, you can step up. You can just do a basic row like this. I'm giving you guys options. I just want to make sure that if this move is terrible or impossible, He's got other options. Now the next movement, we're gonna work the leg the same way, break, but we're working a different movement. So now, left leg's in front, knee to the chin, chin to the knee, and we're doing a reverse fly. So you're gonna wanna go light or no weight. Yes, you can go no weight and it can still work. So we're just getting that reverse fly. You can swing the arms up if you have to, just bring them down slow. You want to try to keep them straight out on that fly. Don't go back to here. Don't go up here. Straight out to the sides. Out and come down nice and slow. Control the downward. Sometimes you may need a little boost. Up. Just come down slow. You guys have it. You've got it. We got 15. We got way less than 15. We got 10. Don't be afraid to modify on these movements. Two, break. Okay, what is next? I don't know. I'm gonna go with a lunge press. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your weights, right foot forward, right arm up, left arm in an ISO curl. So right arm, right foot forward, that's the press. This other left arm, just hanging out in an isometric. Modifier for this would be take the ISO out or don't do the lunge. You just sit here and press. Otherwise, we go down, we press up. We go down, we press up. It'll work. We will hit the other side on this movement. Try to make sure your lunge form is correct. Knee over the ankle. Knee not in front of the ankle. Two, one. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Good work. Way to be here. Way to push. Way to fight. Left leg forward. Left arm up. We're going with it. So we've got that isometric. I'm going to face you guys. Just because. I feel like looking at you, checking your form. That form looks marvelous. If you have a mirror, like I've got one over there, I like to watch myself in the mirror so that I know my form is correct. I like to double check the form, take advantage of having that mirror. We're gonna go down to our backs next. Five seconds. Two. Okay, we're going down to our backs. We have a bridge fly. I like to go with a lighter weight on the fly. Fly, we're just opening and closing, but we're gonna have our right heel down. Left leg up. And when we fly, we bring the leg up too. So as we fly, we're bringing that leg up. So, 
I've got my butt off the ground. I got my, all my weight in my right heel. Modifier for this would be drop your butt down and flatten your foot. And then you just rest. Otherwise, keep the butt up. Keep flying. You want to get those hands to where they just about touch the ground. If you got caught by the Sailor Man forearms, they may touch before the weights. Three, two, one. Enjoy this little spot here because we're going to switch legs and hit the other. So left heel down now, and now it's the right leg coming up and meeting. Oh, sorry. No delay. No delay. Let's get on it. I, I, I must have thought we had a vacation or a 15 second break or something. I really don't know what I was thinking. But what I am thinking now is, oh boy, oh boy, that bridge fly is mighty nice. So nice we do it twice. It's kind of like couscous, you know? Speaking of foods, your favorite foods. Is it bridge fly like couscous? So nice they named it twice? Uh, you know, I'm a vegan, so it kind of mixes and shakes up my likes. My favorite food I can't really enjoy anymore because I'm vegan. Four, three, two, one. Oh boy, we're going back to the top. Pop your back if you need to. Get those curls, because we've got a curl jack. So remember, you need to tighten the core and control the hop so that you can control the core. I mean the curls. This is an awkward move, so you have to rely on muscle to stabilize you. Otherwise, slow it down or hit the modifier. Build the muscle. You're hitting everything here. Oh boy. Oh boy. And key ingredient is to breathe. Two, one, way to work. Heart rate's rolling now. We're gonna go iron pants. So again, it's the one, feet together, knees together, butt out. Grab your dumbbells, put your pants at your heels, pull them back up. Down with them, up with them. Again, key, chin up, chest out. You don't wanna just come down leaning over. You always wanna keep good posture, his elbows are going as high as I can get them. And it's okay to get a little pause here at the top. Sorry, phone going crazy. These people don't know we're doing a workout. How could you call me while we're working out? Ten seconds left. Five. Three. One break. All right, you guys are doing great. We've got a sprawl to gorilla curl. So remember, if legs are wide, you can use the insides of the knees to do your curl. Let's get it. Here we go. Sprawl it, curl it. Don't forget your modifier would be step, 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 curl. Otherwise, you set your tempo, you set your pace. Unless I say, hey, this is a controlled move, slow it down, you can pick your speed. Always challenge yourself. And most importantly, breathe, 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 breathe. Big deep breaths through the nose, out the mouth. Keep that oxygen. Pump into your blood. Two, one, ah! I don't know what that is about. Okay, ropes, get your light weights. I'll bump up a little heavier this time just to show you. Same deal, I'm tilting downward. And now, because the weights are a little heavier, I gotta control more.
Don't be afraid to stand up, and shake the legs out. But notice I keep the arms moving because I don't like to just stop and then just kind of relax for a second. I like to make sure at least I'm doing the movement. And really, if you hit that point where you're like, oh my God, these weights, I can barely move them. Put them down. Get a little speed behind it. And then it really starts to burn you up. It's just an added bonus with weights. Two, one, and if you've sprung a leak like me, get a towel. Otherwise, get your socks. Pulling them up. Iron socks, right foot forward, chin to knee. You want to really bump it up, you just get on that heel. Otherwise, keep it flat. And I've got all my weight of my chest and torso resting on this leg. That's what makes it so challenging because we're putting all that weight into your hamstring. But if that wasn't enough, we add a row in the mix. That way we make sure everything's getting exercised. Everything's being worked. And don't forget, breathe, breathe. You know the last one. You got to breathe. Three seconds. Oh my God, two, one. Come up slow if you're coming up or don't come up at all. I'm gonna switch legs. Now we have the reverse fly. So same deal, chin to knee, but I'm gonna go with lighter weight. So I'm gonna pick my smaller weights up. I'll go with these fibers. And I, I missed a few seconds there because I was indecisive. And if you need to in between these, if you're trying the full version, put your hands down for a sec. Catch your breath and then keep coming. Each time you can take a little pressure off that knee. But if you're doing like me and dripping everywhere, good. Good. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh man, that's starting to burn something nice. That's starting to burn something good. What are we looking at? Three, two, one. All right. Here we go, we're making moves. Now we've got that lunge press. I'm getting the towel. You got just a few seconds. Get those weights, put in that lunge. Right foot forward, right arm up. Left arm iso, here we go. Right foot forward, right arm up. Left arm iso. You got it. Now you can always go down, get up here and press. Or you make it one movement. Don't be scared to drop weight. Don't be scared to push. I guess the key is just don't be scared. Don't be scared. We're sitting on about five seconds. Oh, two. Break. All right, we're going on the other side. We're entering the last couple moves, everybody. Way to work, left foot forward, left arm up, right arm, ISO. Get your form, get your stance. Oh. Strain. 
set it on the ground. Otherwise, keep breathing, keep working, dig deep, and just keep telling yourself why you're here. If you've got goals, that's why you're here. You're working on your goals. Oh, boy. If you've got sweat running in your ear holes, don't worry. Oh, boy. Four, three, two. Nice. Okay, catch the breath. If you have the towel, get it. If you have sweat in your ears, Lord knows you don't want that. Two seconds. Left heel down. One. Boom. Right leg and arms working together. Bridge fly. Bridge fly. With leg lift, I should say. But that was pretty obvious. Now, again, drop the head if you need to. That's gonna let that neck rest, especially if the first round was wearing it out and the second one you're a little burnt. Just set the head down for a minute. You can always lift it back up, you know? Put it down, it's not like it has to stay there. Oh, dig deep. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Listen. A nice little. There's a puddle here on the floor. It's like Nicki Minaj was over here. Boy. Great work, everyone. Great work. Okay. Towel off, do what you gotta do. Take a sip of water. I won't keep you here long. I just wanna tell you thanks again for being here. I'll tell you that my favorite food is pizza. However, being that I'm a vegan, pizza is not the same because you can't really replicate the cheese. Yes, there's vegan pizzas. Yeah, they're pretty good, but it's just not as good as a regular old big greasy pizza. So that's just something I had to say. See you later too. Uh, let me know what you guys like. Hope you enjoyed this workout. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, notification bell. You know the rest of the story. Uh, and let's just end it where we started it.